Hi folks, only me again. Hang on, I need to clean some stuff up first. Okay, just kidding. What I'll call. Um, just a quick one. Uh, this is a disassembly of a rear projection TV set, autopsy. This is a short one, and uh, just uh, to see what parts are in there. It's not too super exciting. And the second announcement is uh, the 30th of April, I'll be back in Los Angeles in the United States of America to do some more storm chasing. Take a train ride uh, from LA to San Antonio, Mexico, and then uh, Oklahoma, and from there we'll see what happens. So I'll be in the States again for three weeks, three and a half weeks, and I uh, hope it's going to be interesting. Okay, I've lifted the front piece of the TV set, taken the mirror out already. Uh, we got the lens part, one corner was cracked, but it doesn't matter. The PVC, some other flexible material in between. And I think the other pieces of Fresnel lens or something. So I think I'm gonna keep that. So it's basically a three layer device. Well, taking the screws out. Look in the device, see what we can find. Hmm. Hmm. Nice juicy heat sinks. That's the power supply at the bottom part. Oh, got the guns and uh, the lenses and stuff on top. I may even be able to activate the device, see what happens. The fly back, and then lead goes to the multiplex on here. There's like four high tension leads coming out of here somehow. Leads are double screened. Double PVC, just have another close analysis inside. I think we're just going to plug it in and see what happens. They did cut uh, cut the lead off, but we can easily put a receptacle on there and see if it works. Past, living out in the west, beautiful. Quick off connection, plug and play, and we'll see what happens. Release electrons from the modification. Check there's any response on the on-off button. That looks like an amplifier, so it might work, may not work. Main power supply, big capacitor, tuner boards, other components, HV flyback transformer. Uh, that's that part, and then we go into the casing, which is here. Um, got the three gun assemblies. And they got each their own uh, CRT drivers as such. And there's another chunky device here on the ground. Don't know what it is, but we'll find it when we'll take it apart. Sony FX43 2M31, so 43 inch, I think. Yeah, uh, there's some more autopsy on this device. I can see these uh, TV mains, uh, repair mains, no mains, so needed three extenders to get access to a particular screw out here. It has to get the whole frame out in one shot and the same applies on the other side. I, I can't see if the camera picks it but it's in the corner there. It's often not a bad idea to wear some gloves as these edges, these metals are very sharp. Anything that's stuck somewhere in the heck. Got some more cables. I'm gonna snap some more wires off. It should hopefully come up now. Oh, heavy. <coughs> there we go. Three guns. Oh, 
all die vaas hier. Maar dus op deze som of die CRT's heeft dat stil werk. Dit is de inside of the cabinet. Dit is de aerodynamic mirror van de RPTV set. Een couple of meters van de background hier. Just a quick uh, overview of the damage caused in the TV. Carnage. And these are the couple of circuit boards. 